Well, if you like those cooler fall feeling days, today could have been a day for you. You get another one tomorrow before we begin to brighten up and warm up. But a cool start to tomorrow morning as we settle back with a little bit of clearing down to 56 degrees. Many areas upper 40s to near 50. By the time you roll out the door tomorrow morning and another breezy evening will turn toward a gusty wind into tomorrow afternoon. West winds 14 miles per hour and things are quieting down quite a bit across northwest Ohio, but some fairly significant lake effect rain showers occurring across northeastern Ohio. And those are streaming right off of Lake Erie and some of those heavier bands, including some downpours and some small hail and several water spouts reported off the shores of Lake Erie. Now, while we've had showers and sprinkles, check this out. It's been a fire hose of rainfall over toward the eastern parts of the Cleveland Metro out there toward Lake County and around Fairport Harbor down toward Mentor in toward Concord Township, Kirtland and over toward Chardon had four to five inches of rainfall just over the past 36 hours. Quite a bit of rainfall did lead to some localized flooding. Now cooler weather that is continuing to rush into the area and all this is uh, going to continue to pinwheel around an area of low pressure. This low pressure system, that's the culprit. Look at the broad area of circulation. That spring widespread rainfall all the way to northern Ohio and southern Michigan. Quick update again on the tropics. If you missed it earlier, we continue to track a uh, developing hurricane. Hurricane Ian winds to 105 miles per hour. This one will strengthen to a category four storm. Some rapid intensification in the next 24 hours headed directly to the coast of Florida, and it will be looking toward an imminent landfall likely late Wednesday and into Thursday. For us, we're going to stay cool and crisp into tomorrow morning. A breezy start to the day, upper 40s to near 50. Kids will need the rain jackets, the umbrellas, and the windbreakers for that chilly feel. More likely, we'll get a few showers into the afternoon, upper 50s. That's just about it for a highs tomorrow as we see a few additional afternoon rain showers. Even cooler into Wednesday morning, we'll get some areas that slip back into the low 40s. If we only hit 58 tomorrow, it will be the coolest day since May 6th, 143 days ago. There's your upper 50s. Most likely winter is going to be a few afternoon rain showers, but really couldn't get a chance of an on and off shower at any point tomorrow. Upper 50s back to the low 60s into Wednesday, mid 60s for Thursday and Friday. Then we're going to hit full stride into some dry weather toward the end of the work week. And for that first weekend in October, gorgeous conditions, lower 70s, and I expect we'll likely stay dry both weekend days and into early next week. That first full week of October, looking at mild and dry conditions into early next week.